For this video, we're going to be looking at the level one rescue. With the Irata syllabus, the level one rescue is when the casualty is in descent mode and there's an adjacent set of ropes right next to the casualty just to keep it as easy as possible because this is the most basic rescue in the Irata syllabus. I'm starting in my descender because the dummy is only a short distance up here and I'm going to be coming down so it makes sense to start in the descender and just stay in the descender the whole time. Off we go. I'm going to climb up so I'm level with my casualty. Slightly higher. There we go. Won't need the hand descender anymore. We can just get rid of that. Just one less thing to get to get twisted on. And now that I've got access to my casualty, I need to get him off of these two points of contact and bring him down on me. I could just descend him down a bit, descend myself down a bit, keep going and we'll get back to the ground. But if I'm several stories up a building, that's not really an effective plan and I'll get better casualty management if I bring the casualty onto me and support him. So first of all, I'm going to grab one of his cow stools. One that's not got a lot of crap on it would be a good idea. And then just clip that straight in to my ventral attachment point on my D-ring. It's not going to go on any of the side points and definitely not on the chest. Now the casualty's got one point to me. I need to make a second point, making sure that I don't drop it. I'm going to take a chain length of carabiners. Two is a good number, works well for me. And I'm going to go into this chest because that's going to be best for casualty management, it's going to keep him upright. Now I'm going to pull that in and connect it onto the spine of my descender carabiner. It's the best place for the loading. Now, I've got a little twist there, easy enough to sort. Housekeeping is always important. Let's take that off. Pass the rope. Round to the right side and go again. Check all the gates on the carabinas. Dummy's now got two points of contact. How you doing there, mate? And now I'm going to start getting him off of his own gear. Take his duck down, and just get rid of that. It's not going to be a backup device anyway, because this is now under tension. And now I'm going to lower him onto this hard link that I've got here. I wouldn't straddle him just yet, because it, it can be hard to get that descender off. I'm going to keep going. Plenty of slack into that rig. Then I can take it off. Hopefully there's no tangles. Close the rig. And now I can get into a straddle position. Make sure this guy's okay. Let's get into the ground. One rope either side of me. Makes things nice and neat. And before I come down, I've got to think that I've got the weight of two people on one descender. So if I was just to go as normal, I could end up shooting down the rope and having an uncontrolled descent. So I'm going to add some extra friction into the system. Don't use a carabiner on a gear loop. These are not rated for that. Only rated to about 10 kilos. You want to stick the carabiner on a structural point of the harness. And these side attachment points work ideal for that. Other ways to do it is go here. Up to you really. Close the gate. If you're using a carabiner, then it should be closed. And create that turn. You can always back it off a bit once you realise you don't need it, but always start with your hand up here, creating a good amount of friction. Come down on the descender, nice and easy. Make sure you don't get your duck loaded because there'll be the weight of two people on that. Nice and steady, keeping that back up high until we get to the ground. 
once I'm on the ground, I don't need to land on top of my dummy because what I've done is I've attached the hard link to the spine of the descender carabiner. So I can actually step out away from this and now I can get rid of these ropes and potentially bring in a stretcher and just get this guy much more comfortable and supported casualty management stuff. So there we go, that is the level one rescue from the set point.